Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, we've got the worker doing the mulching. Might have gone down a little bit, and that's because we have the style. Another mulcher. On the back of the John Deere here, should have enough horsepower. And also we bought the global transport big bank pallet thing. And that's gonna be for the flower because as mentioned in last episode, we do have enough flower to last us over the course until December for when it is time to sell bread and flour. So, so I think by the time we hit December, we should have two 5,000 year pallets of bread. Yeah, I think I've done this, but it's like the second week or for December 2 or December 3. We're going to get that second pallet, so. And of course we haven't got the first pallet yet, so well, obviously it's a 5,000 litre pallet and we're only producing 2,000 litres per month, so that is four and a half weeks, no sorry, two and a half months, or maybe sorry, two months and one week before we can get a pallet, so it's a bit of a slow work, but it's again passive income. We've got Plenty of flour on the go at the moment, so, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is detach this, and obviously, you've got a discharge site and a water load site. So, I'm thinking if we push that here, there we go, and then we get pad squad up in the future. All that flour will be going straight. So, all the flowers are going to go in there, and come December, we'll just sell it. And I think actually we'll fill Musa up, I think. So, so yes, yeah, so make sure everything's going on at the moment. We're going to be running out of the oats very soon, but at the end of the day, it's extra flour. So, I am not too disappointed in that. But yeah, with the bread, only 1300 years. We do have a little bit of milk, that was by accident when I went to sell something off camera like several episodes ago when we bought the actual bakery in the first place as a little test. So I'm gonna put that just over there like that. I'll get this unfolded, because yeah, six grand to lease this was pretty expensive. I think it is worth it because we need something just to speed up the work a little bit. We do have contracts available, but I don't know if we're going to get those ones done, especially the bathing ones. Whether it's hay or grass, I'm not too fuss at the moment. I'm willing to do anything. Got plenty of money at the moment, so we're not in a deep, in a deep rush for it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have horrors coming up very soon. So I think September <coughs> is when we can harvest the either sugar beets or, yep, yeah, sugar beets, September, and fuel beans as well. So, yeah, as I said, we've got plenty of work ahead of us. So, yeah, if we squeeze in some contracts, then yeah, we will. But at the moment, the priority is getting these fields turned over. Getting these mulched, plowed up, or cultivated, and then get the rocks picked. So I do want some more lime in that because we do need lime, especially with all the issues we've had. We've got no silos of seeds or fertilizer at the moment, so we need to buy some more very soon. Actually, how much is for like the fertilizers and all that? Go down the pallets. So yeah, liquid fertilizer. We're gonna need more of that. Actually, what I'll do is I'm gonna buy just a bunch of those. There we go. Get to around when we're at 400 grand. One more. So you're gonna take that in storage. Can 
do with a couple packs of herbicides as well. Five of those. And then really, we need seed as well. Not sure where is it to, is it under big bags? No, not the animal foods. Yeah, these ones here are the, the multi-crop ones, so... I think, yeah, so buy two bags of seed. Oh, two made pallets. We need to solve that, so... And there are some bells we've left in the field over here. Ah, I forgot about these ones, so... Let's quick get that resolved, actually, so... I'll leave that there. And, yeah, look, we left this over here. Vehicle, it, wait a minute. Vehicle is broken. What do you mean, vehicle is broken? What have you done? Messy too. Why I can't I tap to? Yeah, I can tap to this. Oh, don't tell me you put it in the bloody drink. Oh, don't tell me. You idiot! <coughs> oh no, that... Yeah, that needs to be towed out. Why drive into the wa bloody water? Yeah, that's going to be expensive to recover that. And, yeah, see if it's damaged. Hopefully the workers turned the engine off before it went into the water because if water's gone into the engine that would have bloody hydro locked it, so oh god. Right, fine, let's get this recovered and see what the damage is. Well that was expensive, so yep. Yeah. Shop is just open, we've had to recover of course the Massey and Roller. And yet, as we drop down to the store, thankfully our insurance is going to cover any cost of repairs and that, or whatever it has to be damaged done to the Massey. Apparently, they tried to start it, a lot of water got chucked out from inside the engine, but at least it's not hydro locked. If it was hydro locked, then we'll be looking at a bigger issue. But, so yeah, since then, we've just been picking up those bells. Also, just moving some of these pallets. And yeah, I was on about yeah the production of what was it? Tomato sauce and salad. I think we'll do that now. We got stuff here, so sure, why not? Let's do it. So where did I say I was gonna put it to? Over here by the old pig enclosure. Oh yeah, over here. So yeah, got the mowers. So let's quickly just move those out of the way. Damn, we'll save. Come on. There we go. So yes, yeah, get rid of those mowers a sec. So go boom and boom. Let's get rid of those. Cause yes, yeah, so I also want to put down the cookie factory. Of course, we need stuff for that first of all. So, go on to productions, factories. So, I want that one initially. So, that would go somewhere there, like that. Apparently, it's blocked by something. It's that little bit over there. So, that little texture. So, we will get that removed. Not putting it down now, just one as a placeholder. So I know where to put everything. So high output. 
one, there we go. Okay, that's going to go there, so that's going to come to about here. And then I want... Is it this one? No, not that one. One of these ones, so... Yeah, very cute, very small, very dainty. Actually, very clean put it in here. Yeah, if you know what, heck it, we'll put it somewhere down like that. So, yeah, things are coming <coughs> in there. No, sorry, things goes on the side and comes out the front. So, yeah, then all I have to do is put a little texture down. Thinking. There we go, just something like that. Just put a little bit of asphalt down. I should do the whole area because I may add another one. I could do cl <coughs> close. Because yeah, I think him making close would be ideal as well. But then again, as well, with all we're going to be doing with the cookie factory, we can make cakes as well in the bakery. Uh, that's a, an option for us, but for now. Not too worried on that. So yeah, that's decent. I'll decorate it with put some trees down or something after everything's done. But yeah, I think for now, let's get all this done. And then we'll resume with the mulching. Because that needs to be done. <laughs> done so that is the tomato and that is in the new production strawberries are being for the time being I sent them to distribution the ones in the greenhouse so they'll get sent over to the bakery obviously that's gonna fill up very quickly that's just a bit of extra storage in that yeah flowers on the way all good but if we head all the way down here we have a little look we got plenty of tomatoes and that is in there at the moment, so because actually it's not a really fast production. We only get in about two thousand liters a month, so thankfully we can have like multiple of those. Because even like tomatoes, that is yeah, well, two thousand four hundred liters a month. Plus another thousand, so that is we got nine months worth. So, yeah, really, we can actually get away with having like two of those on the go. But, yeah, so, anyways, we've got our fertilizers and all that, sorry, so the fertilizers filled and our herbicides filled. I think it costs us 500 pounds to borrow because the others got milk and dig not digestate, sorry, in them. Also, yeah, we've been buying the seeds of fertilizer, got them loaded up, and I thought, since we've got stuff in there already, got a little bit of milk ready, let's go ahead and start making some cakes. Ooh. So yeah, all it really needs is sugar, eggs, and butter. Got some pallets there, it ain't gonna last us too long, and not enough to get a full 5,000 liter pallet, but I thought for now, 
be a good little way to start off the production. Very expensive of us getting those pallets, but I think the eggs, we didn't need the eggs. I think we've got plenty of eggs already, so it was a bit of a waste. But oh yeah, heck it, why not? So that's gonna deliver that. To no, not the dis distributor, not the market stall. No, not sell everything container. Not line production, not the PGA. Ah, that one there. So. Oh, if I just put that on the road, will that work then? So we can come back, get that last little bit of liquid fertilizer, and all that. So, how about now? Ah, oh, bloody hell. Yeah, it's all so good having this, but ain't that complicated to get to, so. Oh well, not so that there. But yeah, so the milk is already in the bakery. That's going to see there, of course. And the ones we're getting at the moment from the cows, that's going to be saved up and be used for the cookie production. Obviously, all that is going to be a bit down the road within the next month or two. Just for now, we've got the basics, get things going for the cakes, and then we'll worry about the rest of the days for all. But, anywho, let's go and start putting some of this stuff in. And actually, I think we've already caught this up already. And then we get the tractor in, but that trailer's going to hit that gate. We're hitting the gate now. This will be like perfectly straight. There we go, manages to knock it about. What? Actually, heck it. We'll put this down. And I'm hoping we can just grab these. The yeah, downside is we don't have a bait out these pads are heavy. And also, we're going to be picking up the traders, but I guarantee that. So, anyways, take a gamble. Just get it lined up enough. Just takes a while. But yeah, so if we have a look now, we should be starting making cakes. Ain't gonna be much, only for a cycle to get one pallet. But would have been one normal pallet, but we need five times as much, so. But anywho, let's go and get this corrected. And actually, the best we can do is. Strap him back on. There we go. I think we'll leave them. Um, really, they can be used up to north, but. Yeah, it's just. We've got so much things to do. I think we've got enough fertilizer for now. Actually, we can take the fertilizer with us. So that's just do that. Seeds are fine for now. Pop in. So yeah, get hooked up like that. Oh, I didn't know we can do that. That is something actually new to us, so... 
We'll take this back up. We'll get this hooked up again to the roller on the motor, sorry. And yeah, we don't waste too much time with the breaking down of the tractor because of a stupid worker. So yeah, let's go and sort all that out now, shall we? There we go. So yeah, we got the John Deere doing the grain mill fields. And yeah, I mean the fence. We're just going to do this down here. I was going to sell worker off, but knowing the worker, so I'm going to go through the hedgerows and into the fi or field bean fields and mulch that. And if that did happen, I'll be absolutely pissed off. One worker's already cost me five, five grand, five and a half grand, whatever it was, in recovery. It's going to affect my insurance premium in that, on our equipment in that. There's obviously a lot of workers on the farm now, so we need obviously that liability insurance to cover the workers who are working at the farm for our safety for the public safety and for my safety as well and the farms itself in general but god was that worker absolutely stupid it's like why intentionally i swear it was intentional driving the water this has lost control but as far as i can gather for what i told so far by the people who recovered it and when we dropped it off at the dealership at the didn't see any issues with what could cause a like you know like a sticky throttle, something like that, or a dodgy clutch, uh, whatever, or no brakes. All the basic controls seem to be working. It's just getting it running. At the moment, we're apparently screwing water out, so at least the engines ain't hydro locked. But and yeah, the repairs because ain't our fault. It was a worker's fault. Obviously, we're not going to be liable to pay in the bill of itself. Which I'm guessing is the hindsight of everything, but... Oh, workers complete your task. No, you're not completed. I was going to set a worker off in there. We're already done. Ah, no, no. My correction is actually worker over here. Fair enough. So yeah, we'll get this hooked up and take this back to the farm. And actually, could we do it? Don't really use much herbicide. It still would be good to have, you know, just a bulk supply. So I'm inclined to buy in a few more of these. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, another six I'll do. So we can quickly get this all loaded up and we'll just get the worker take this back to the farm so on the road you go another automatic save yeah it's not in these automatic saves but it's just in case of a crash i've left the game loaded up a few times since our crash in the last episode and touch wood it seems to be fine but i am not taking that chance at all so Worker's doing all right here at the moment. And we'll just take over the John Deere here. Some some issues. It's like Mr. Shrimp over there in the middle, so not sure why, but so yeah, anyways, and ooh, shrimp that we forgot, but nothing to worry about. But yeah, I'm thinking with that side. Production all that. Yeah, it is a small building, so obviously ten grand you get what you paid for. And I think there is a bigger one, if I'm correct. I'm going to have a look. It's not this one here, right? Farm production. No, it's not this one here. Is it this one? Farm production barn. Different packs. So if we have a look here. So yeah, it'll be this one here, but that's 50 grand. It's bigger, more substantial, and it can do everything we need. But you want that cookie factory, so. So you know what? Heck it, we'll put another 
We'll see. The pirates gonna come out the front. Let's put another two down. Obviously that's three grand compared to fifty grand. Yeah, I get that. But obviously where we got things set to distribution, I still want to cock anything up, so it feels like this one here but bigger. And yeah, that'd be nice, but you know what? Somewhere like there, I'll do. I'm getting all of that side of production. And that's the thing, yeah, big expense. It's gonna be expensive a few months, but between doing contract works and everything else, it's gonna be worth it. And we'll make a lot of money. Like we've got tons of greenhouses underway, so supply demand. That is not an issue, and dang it, I've well, put the wrong building down. But yeah, looking at that, I think that's the same ratio, right? No, it ain't smaller. Yeah, of course it'll be smaller, but... Oh, which one's that? Is that one? Oh, dang it, that costs us five bloody grand. Easy done, I think they all look the same, so. But yeah, here, yeah, your dairy, fruits, I mean, oils. But I think that's one of them about doing corn, like, we can get this. And yeah, there's a few other things, we could do cereal nats, but we ain't gonna do cereal, but we can do corn popcorn, so. But anyway, so yeah, we'll get back to what we was doing. Stone. And it's fruits, yes. So, you know what? Somewhere like that, like that. So yeah, that costs us an extra money, which I didn't want. And you're stopped as well, and that's going to be the thing. It's good having workers, but yeah, they're so temperamental at the best of times. But anyways. Let's go and get this done, and I'll see folks in a bit once we are done with all the mulching.
And there we go, that is all the mulching done and the fertilizer. So let's go and have a quick look because we have been busy. So let's go to the map, have a look. So if we go to here, go to mulched, all of our fields are mulched. Also, we've put an application of fertilizer on all of our fields. And for 109 and for a bit of 59, that has its second application already put on. That's because we've leased a tractor and a fertilizer spreader. This was a regret because I didn't realize we had one. It was just at the other farm. Completely forgot. Yeah, the Brennel K105, I can do lime and fertilizer. And yeah, completely forgot about that. So that is a complete waste. We'll be using that. I'll be returning that at the end of the day. Actually, can we undo that now? That's, that's filled up with fertilizer because also I decided to buy a bunch of fertilizer. Yeah, 18,000 liters. Not needed, so. There we go. That does the job. Too many pallets. Oh, great. We need to put this somewhere. Actually, better be a sec. I got an idea on that part. And that is with our old silos back. So, got them back in. Haven't charged ourselves for it since it was a technical mod issue now. So, yeah, let's go and put this in. should all just trickle in and empty itself just like that so yeah we'll get these put in a sec so if you bear with me and then we'll focus on what we've got the plow here and stone picker Solve now, a little issue, a little quick time lapse there, maybe. So, yeah, we will turn this. Yeah, because it's completely not needed. But, yeah, since we've got the Massey in the shop, we've had to go on and lease it. Technically, we didn't have to because we've also still got the fence. However, the fence, I want to reserve that as much as possible for. Basically hard work and that so far as the two over here. Things like holding stuff and that and when doing like the wind rowing and mowing because if you look at it, it's already on 30 hours, almost, just over 29. And we will give us a quick service now, since it actually needs fuel and a little service. But if you catch us cast yourselves back to early on the series when we had the class 800 series and that's got worn very quickly just because of we was using it a lot for a lot of stuff and yeah she will fill it up in a few moments yeah let's go and look at the service because the more we use it the more it's going to wear quickly like with our class combine, that's got 50 hours on it. See, so six grand at the moment ain't too bad. Ain't too bad, but at some point, we was perhaps well, they need to go into what well, English there, but and that was all complete mumbles. But we need to look at possibly replacing this with something just something a bit younger, a bit more mod, not say mod, but a bit newer. That's why, where possible, I will reserve this just for... Actually, how much eggs we got there? Well, only a thousand years. But yeah, as I was saying, reserve this for the hard work, hauling stuff, like using the trans. Like, the other tractors can pull it, 70,000 years of stuff, but it is such a heavy boot, or, or brute, <laughs> when it comes to just maneuvering stuff, so... That's why we're going to leave it at that. That's going to be there. 
But yeah, the plan. Are we going to do any crops in that for next year now? Looking out the window, I think we'll do one, I think, yeah, barley and oats, definitely. Got enough wheat now, we could do wheat again next year, next, basically this time next year. So I'm thinking if we do barley and oats, just to mix it up a bit, keep that fire production going. Because, yes, yeah, so if we're going to do that, I'm thinking dedicate three fields. Maybe, I'm thinking barley, and then we can have oats. Actually, yeah, barley and oats here. And then we can have oats as well here. So, yeah, oats, oats, and barley here. And these five. One, two, three, four, five, yep. They could be for other crops like sugar beet we're gonna be doing. Try to think as well. Maybe cotton, we'll look into that. Sorghum. Can we do sorghum flour? Yes we can, so we'll do a sorghum as well. So yeah, sorghum on one of the bigger fields, and then sugar beet as well. Yeah, sugar beet and corn, that's definitely... Cotton's a maybe in that, so that's... Actually, if we go down that route of... Getting the spinner in that, or a production that can do clothes. May not do it. But yeah, definitely corn and sugar beet next year. And that's going to be in March, April, and that, so... So I think for the other fields we'll just do grass, like get a bunch of silage in and have just one big silage session, so obviously actually can we direct drill? Uh, I don't think our cedar is a direct drill, is it? No it ain't, it's just a planter, so do we look at possibly getting a direct drill cedar? If so, will have to be something like this. That does it 8 meters. It was a bit small compared to. And the lease as well, that is expensive. I was going to have a fair few hours on it, so. I'm thinking we'll just rip it up and just get the things done. Just get cloud, rock picked, because I do want that line, that little bit of extra income there. So I'll just hop across the sugar, not sugar beet, the field beans. And yeah, I'll get the plow on the way. And next time, that's where we'll be getting this all done. Get the plow done, get the raw picking done. And I think as well, getting that cookie factory in. Because harvest is just around the corner. For, actually, no, sugar beet, it's October. Field beans. That's actually can we tell a difference? So there should be a difference then. Fill beans, dark green. So yeah, in September we're gonna be doing the fill bean harvest. There we go, just make sure everything's on. And no, I'm not having that. We have just patches of grass, so just do this. I think actually what we do as well is release a second one out as well. Get a worker on that. Because we've got so much work to do. And I think yeah, if we have a look here we'll see we will have large stones. Yep, yeah, got large stones. It had medium stones recently. And actually do we need to lime? No, we don't, I don't think. Maybe with a root crop on that, but apart from that, don't need to do anything else. So, literally, get the plan on the way, get the rock picking going, and then we we'll start seeding the wheat and that. So, yeah, that is where I'm going to leave it today. So, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, 
feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, very cheers to do. Hope you're nice day. But for now, it's performer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.